สวัสดีครับ I'm Point This is k o n p o p where psychology and wisdom meet for you to discover a life that is grounded in meaning and fulfillment The topic of today's video is the mistake you make when going through a heartbreak Anyone who has been through a heartbreak myself included can certainly tell you that it is not a pleasant experience It can be one of the most emotionally difficult and painful experiences that leaves you feeling torn apart, confused, hopeless, lost, hurt, in self-doubt, or even bitter. Everything you thought you knew about people, your partner, relationships, or even the world itself, is now called into question as you try to make sense of what happened. How did this happen? What did I do wrong? Am I naive? Why did this happen to me? How can I ever trust someone again? In other words, your world and the sense of security which you sought in the relationship has been shattered, and you don't even know where to begin to try to fill up this void. You see, the mistake most people make when going through emotional difficulty like this is that they try to intellectualize their way out of their negative feelings. The key, however, is to identify how you feel, to accept your emotions and embrace it deeply, not to try to figure things out immediately. A bit counterintuitive. Let me explain. But before we dive in further, please do consider liking and subscribing to this channel if you find value in what is being presented here, or perhaps comment your thoughts down below and share this video with someone who you think would appreciate this message. I'm very grateful for your support. Let's continue. You see, by its very nature, a heartbreak often comes with many unanswered questions. There is often a lot of ambiguity around what happened and why, and this leaves your mind in a place of great discomfort. If you are the sort of person who has a low tolerance for ambiguity, then you are also likely to find yourself feeling rather powerless at this point. And if you feel powerless, yet at the same time strongly desire to know the answers as to why this happened, you will then anxiously and desperately attempt to revisit every minute detail in the relationship in order to satisfy your need for answers. I knew this. His secretive texts weren't innocent. I should have seen that she was manipulative and toxic. You get the idea. Furthermore. Overthinking and analyzing your way to some conclusion, whether it be factual or not, could also come out of a need for a sense of justice or a need to spare your ego from feeling guilt, shame, or that perhaps you too were wrong and therefore had some part to play in the breakdown of your relationship. The point is, a restless mind would not be satisfied with any answer for long. It inevitably breeds more questions, which never produces a truly meaningful nor helpful answer. You are essentially running away from your emotions. You are trying to escape suffering by thinking that the answers you come up with, with, will help you gain some sense of control over your dilemma and thereby free you. Yet this is merely an illusion. On the other hand, another mistake is to try to dismiss your emotions and how you feel with positive, self-assuring words, such as "Oh, I'll be fine. Time will heal things. I should get over this by now. Why do I feel so bad? There are plenty of fish in the sea. Oh well, I didn't need her anyway. I wasn't happy with him anyway. So good riddance. I won't miss him. You get the idea. You see, the problem with this is that you are not honoring how you truly feel. And are unlikely to even believe your own words of self-assurance. Not saying what you mean and not meaning what you say will only backfire and serve to reinforce a lack of belief in your own self. Again, you are running away from your true emotions and feelings. An important skill is to develop in life. Sorry, an important skill to develop in life is therefore the ability to tell the difference between what you are feeling and what you are thinking. Realize that thoughts are just thoughts. It is not reality. Therefore, you do not have to believe everything that your mind is telling you. So, embrace, accept your emotions and feelings, not the doomsday story that your mind is trying to tell you. Watch and observe your thoughts, feelings, and emotions, and pain without engaging with it or reacting to it. Draw your attention away from the restless mind by grounding it in your direct experience instead. For example. 
focus on the sensation of your stomach with each inhale and exhale. As you mindfully observe, you begin to take back your power and control in a correct manner because you are no longer adding to the problem through unnecessary mental commentary about the situation. Like Marcus Aurelius once said, the wise man accepts his pain, endures it, but does not add to it. It is a skill that we can all learn to develop and comes in handy when healing a broken heart. What are your thoughts on today's video? Does it resonate with how your life experiences have been? Let me know what you think in the comments section. And if you made it this far, why not give the video a like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for your time and for watching. I will see you next time. สวัสดีครับ